Picture this. You're in a job interview and the interviewer asks, give an example of a time when you motivated others. What's your answer? The job interview, a universal experience that can stir a cocktail of excitement and anxiety. This question in particular is a common one, a curveball that can make or break your chances. It's a question that probes your leadership skills, your ability to inspire and drive a team. Understanding this question and how to answer it can make all the difference. So let's dive in. So why do interviewers ask this question? What are they really trying to find out? Well, it's not just about curiosity. They're looking to peel back the layers to see the real you, your leadership potential, and your ability to inspire and motivate others. When an interviewer asks you to provide an example of a time when you motivated others, they're essentially probing for insights into your leadership style. They're keen on understanding how you function in a team setting and how you handle the dynamics of team motivation. They're also interested in your ability to inspire. Can you inject enthusiasm into a project? Can you rally a team around a common goal? And most importantly, can you influence people positively? And remember, it's not just about telling a great story. It's about demonstrating your skills and values. They want to see evidence of your leadership, inspiration, and motivation in action. So when you're faced with this question, think leadership, think inspiration, think motivation. Remember, interviewers may not always ask the question word for word as we've presented it. Now let's dive into some potential variations of the question. You might hear, can you share an instance where you spurred your team to success? Or describe a situation where you've uplifted your colleagues' spirits? Maybe even, what's your secret sauce for igniting enthusiasm among your peers? Different words, same essence. No matter how it's phrased, the core of the question remains the same. Now that we understand the question and its purpose, how do we go about answering it effectively? Well, the key to crafting a perfect response lies in structuring it well and providing specific examples. A good response should include a particular instance where you motivated others, the actions you took and the results achieved. Remember, the more specific you are, the more authentic your answer will seem. Let's illustrate this with a couple of examples. Here's a good response. In my previous role as a team leader, I noticed a decline in team morale during a challenging project. I took the initiative to organize a brainstorming session where everyone could share their ideas and concerns. This led to a more inclusive environment and boosted the team's morale, resulting in a successful project completion. This response is effective because it provides a specific example outlines the action taken and highlights the positive result. On the other hand, a response like, I always motivate my team by being positive and encouraging, lacks specificity and doesn't provide any concrete examples. It's vague and doesn't give the interviewer a clear picture of your skills or experiences. The difference between these two responses is clear by providing specific examples and detailing the actions you took and the results achieved. You can effectively demonstrate your ability to motivate others. A well-structured response not only answers the question, but also showcases your skills and experiences in a positive light. We've covered a lot today, so let's recap. We've delved into the depths of one daunting interview question. Give an example of a time when you motivated others. We've dissected the purpose behind this question, recognizing that it's not just about demonstrating leadership skills, but also about showcasing your ability to inspire and influence others in a positive way. We've explored various forms this question might take, whether it's about a time you led a team, motivated a colleague, or inspired change in a group setting, the underlying theme remains the same, your ability to motivate others. We've also discussed the key elements to include in your response. Remember, it's not just about what you did, but how you did it. Highlight your actions, the results, and the impact on others. And don't forget, it's always more powerful to show, not just tell. We've examined examples of good and bad responses, understanding that specificity and authenticity are your allies. A well-prepared answer includes a specific example, not a generic description. It's also genuine, drawing from real experiences rather than constructed scenarios. Above all, we've emphasized the importance of preparation. Understanding the intent behind interview questions is crucial. It's not just about having an answer, it's about having the right answer. The more you prepare, the more confident and persuasive you will be. Remember, every question in an interview is an opportunity to demonstrate your skills and fit for the job. So take a deep breath, prepare well, and you'll ace it. Thank you for watching. 
If you found value in today's video, please hit that subscribe button for more helpful content. Got questions or ideas? Comment below or connect with me on LinkedIn, especially if you're exploring opportunities or hiring. Remember, it only takes one opportunity to transform your career journey. Keep striving and stay optimistic. Your persistence will pay off. Peace and success to you.